Hey guys, it's Ling and I'm back for today's video. I asked you guys on Instagram story of what language should I be speaking for today and most of you requested English and that's why I'm here. And don't worry, this is not permanent. I just want to switch up and do something new for my channel. So this is just temporary. And if you guys like it, I will continue to do this sometime. Because since I came back to Vietnam, I have more skin problem than when I was living in the US. So for today's video, we will be talking about recent skincare review. So the first product that I would like to talk about is the L'Oreal Micellar Water. I have the pink bottle and this one is the moisturizing type even for sensitive skin. I believe that this is for all skin type. It's just especially good if you have sensitive skin or I think drier skin. You guys probably know that I really, 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 really love the Sun and Park Beauty Water. I could not live without it. I'm using to the third bottle right now and I could not stop using it. Um, that's why I was a little bit skeptical when I tried this new micellar water from L'Oreal but I was very surprising because it's actually pretty decent um, this one I have on my hand is a travel size and they have a bigger bottle I think it's about like 500 milliliters this micellar water actually cleanses and removes my makeup pretty well without drying out my skin but it is not really good with removing waterproof eye makeup but actually my beauty water couldn't really remove waterproof eye makeup as well so I think this is something common uh, for micellar water as I said, it does not dry out your skin and it does give a certain amount of moisture to your skin it's just not as much and not as moisturizing as beauty water would do but I still highly recommend this micellar water because it is actually a pretty decent micellar water in my opinion and it is a pretty good alternative to the beauty water because it is a lot cheaper and you could actually find this very easy anywhere in Vietnam the next one is this little tiny bottle from Innisfree this is called Super Volcanic or Clay Max and I got this one from a gift set of best selling product from Innisfree a couple months ago and I really love this Clay Max you guys um, this one is actually a lot better than the Q's Rare Earth Deep Pour I can't remember the name but you guys probably know what I'm talking about of course the main ingredient of this one is Jeju Volcanic Clay and I did do some research of what is the benefit of Jeju Volcanic Clay and it does contain some mineral called alkaline and alkaline is really good to help your skin with sebum or um, any kind of impurity on your skin this product promised to tighten your pores, um, remove sebum, exfoliate dead skin cells, um, deep clean and enhance your skin tone and also giving your skin a cooling effect as I said earlier, I love this clay mask from Innisfree a lot better than the Kiehl's Rare Earth one the reason is because this clay has some capsules that contain AHA inside and as you wash off this mask away with water, those capsules will burst uh, on your skin and it actually exfoliates your skin very nice and gentle. And this one could also help to soothe and calm my new pimples whenever I have a breakout. Um, so that's why I highly, highly recommend this clay mask for you guys. Next one is a very new brand called Newly. I got this one sent over to me from Korea to try out and I have the Tea Tree BHA Blemish Control Serum This serum containing BHA and tea tree ingredient um, is, is promised to arrange in sebum control and dead skin cell to prevent skin trouble Basically this serum could help your skin from future breakout or acne problems As you guys already know that I really love BHA product because it is one of the ingredients a product that actually helped me to clear out my acne from a couple years ago I usually use the Paula Choice 2% Perfecting Gel type uh, but that one is the Chemical Exfoliant BHA Why this one from Newly is containing natural BHA which I read from the ingredients it is extract from white willow bark this one also contains um, tea tree which is a really good ingredient for antibacterial for acne and acne prone skin this serum texture is really really light um, as you can see it's almost like water that's why when I apply the serum to my skin it absorbs into my skin really well and quick and fast and it does not leave my skin a sticky feeling like my um, Paula Choice BHA 2% gel perfecting thing like I can't remember the name it doesn't really have any significant or weird smell and it's almost 
no color like water. The source of this BHA is from nature, it's from white willow bark. So um, the main ingredient is not as strong and as effective as the normal chemical BHA from salicylic acids, for example. When I'm using it, it does maintain my skin clear, it does maintain my skin condition, but it doesn't give my skin an impressive result like Paula Choice would do. So I think I'm still gonna stick with my Paula Choice one because I think that chemical BHA actually work better on my skin than the natural BHA one. But I still recommend this serum for any of you who have sensitive skin or if you're new to BHA and would like to try something that are more on the natural side instead of something like Paula Choice, which is more on the chemical side. The next brand that we will be reviewing is SP2 products. I know SP2 product is so darn expensive. That's why I would like to review for you guys what is good and what I think is not really good for my skin, at least. Um, so the first one I will be talking about is the Facial Treatment Clear Lotion. This one on the travel side bottle is the remaining of my first bottle. Doesn't mean I already bought the second bottle, full size. Because this clear lotion is containing Patera ingredients and also containing salicylic acids, that's why it could exfoliate dead skin cells and impurities on my skin to prepare my skin for the next skincare step. This product is very tricky. It is a good product, but when I'm using it, I don't see the point uh, where I should spend $76 for this clear lotion treatment. Um, but once I stop using it, I kind of see the subtle result and the subtle difference that it's made to my skin. Um, so that's why I purchased the second bottle. Um, I think you can try to purchase the small travel size just to see how it works. But to be honest, um, especially with the clear lotions, you cannot really see the subtle effect over time. So that's why with this product, it is up to you guys. I just really cannot recommend if you should buy this or not. And from here, we will move to the next skincare product, which is the very popular one from SK2. It is the Facial Treatment Essence. This one, I actually got it from Tiru as a gift. Um, she gave me a little bottle of this to try out to see if I like it or not. So let me tell you guys about my experience with the Facial Treatment Essence or the Miracle Water. So because this one containing 90% of the Patera ingredients, so I do see the instant result, the significant difference when I use this one in conjunction with the facial treatment clear lotions from SK2. So the first couple times when I used this Miracle Water, I was in love with this. I even think that I should purchase the whole full size bottle, that I should sell all of my stuff to gather all the money to get that darn expensive facial treatment essence. Uh, because I could see the difference that it could make to my skin. The next morning after I applied this facial treatment essence, I could wake up with a very, very smooth looking face. It's kind of like give my face a halo. It looked really good and healthy and clean and, and smooth. Like the best thing that it could do to your skin for a couple days. And after that, I keep using this with the expectation that it could continue to do that amazing thing to my skin um, but I think, I think, I'm not sure yet maybe this one actually breaking out my skin and I'm not surprised I think because of the high percentage of Patera ingredient in here that's why I'm still holding on to the review of this facial treatment essence and I hope you guys understand it because at this moment, I would not like to break out again because it's kind of painful. Um, it's been a while since I have cystic acne and breaking out a lot on my, um, you know, my jawline, my forehead, and like it's cystic acne, guy. I haven't had cystic acne in a while. That's why I'm kind of scared to try this again. So move on to the next. We'll be talking about OZ Naturals Vitamin C Facial Serums. This serum contains two main ingredients, which is of course vitamin C20 and hyaluronic acid. These two combined together create a very potent antioxidant that help your skin with anti-aging and also help to hydrate and moisturize your skin. Um, the reason that I love this serum 
warm because it's really really lightweight and it's absorbed into my skin really well and it doesn't give that sticky feeling or that silicone feeling to my skin in the morning or at night I apply this vitamin C serum after the toner and it's just take like about two or three minutes to um, sink into my skin and after I finish almost the whole bottle of this I can see that my skin is more firm but for acne scar I don't think this vitamin C serum is a good choice because I don't see it could give me a significant result when I have new acne scar on my face it does help but very little um, not a lot. This vitamin C serum is not super amazing but it does good things to my skin and it didn't make my skin break out or have any bad reactions. So the next product is an eye cream and I have the Laneige Water Bank Eye Gel. This one is for all skin types. This water bank eye gel is really hydrating for my under eye area and because of the soothing effect and kind of cooling sensation that it gives for my under eyes, it's actually kind of wake me up in the morning better and kind of depuffing my eyes in the morning as well besides from hydrating and kind of depuffing your eyes as well as giving your under eye area a cooling kind of sensation um, it does not help with dark circles or fine lines so this one would be a really good choice if you would like to hydrate your under eyes area and to keep using eye cream often as a routine like me as a pretty reasonable price the next one we will be talking about is one of my favorite skincare brand it is Sunday Rally UFO Ultra Clarifying Fix Oil. This one is designed for oily to acne prone skin because it does contain 1.5% salicylic acid, which will help to manage and prevent your skin from getting acne or blackheads. You guys see that this one is a full bottle because this one is a new one. I give it to my boyfriend. Uh, I have another one at home that I've been using it since I was in the US. And unlike my expectation, I don't really like this UFO oil. I was trying this oil when I have a breakout to see if you know it helps soothing my breakout or it helped my um, acne to go away faster but it doesn't really do anything special for my skin so yeah I don't think $80 is really worth it for me to spend on this one especially with the claim that is um, promised to do with oily or acne prone skin next we will be talking about sunscreen as you know Summer is coming and I do have a lot of requests uh, from you guys to review sunscreen. For today's video, I will be reviewing the Shiseido Anessa Perfect UV Sunscreen Aqua Booster with SPF 50 plus. This sunscreen is for all skin type and this version, the Aqua Booster one, is really good to use if you go going to swim, if you do a lot of outdoor activities or if you're just a person that sweat a lot like me. Um, then this one is really good because it is um, kind of water resistant. This one is actually physical sunscreen because the ingredients is containing zinc oxidized. The reason that I like this sunscreen is because I could reapply this sunscreen on my face even if I already have my makeup on um, because it's drying really fast on my skin. So next sunscreen I'll be talking about is from Kiehl's. This one is Ultra Light Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. I remember that this one is oil free and it's also for all skin type as well. The texture of this sunscreen is in cream type and it is definitely thicker than the Anasa one but it still blends very really nicely into my skin. It's just not as quick as the Anasa one as you can see which is not a big problem for me because it's dried down pretty fast. It feels kind of like I'm applying a cream moisturizer onto my face instead of a sunscreen. This one is also a physical sunscreen because it's containing um, titanium dioxide in the ingredient list. So this too is my current sunscreen choice of the moment and I would recommend this too for you guys if you want to try or if you would like to use um, a new sunscreen for the summer. And we'll be talking about Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I bought this one before I leave the US about um, a month and a half. This one is a really basic moisturizer for everybody. It's not really expensive. This one I think is about um, $27 for a 50ml jar. Um, so you could use it for a long time. 
time is really keep your skin moisturized throughout the day and um, it doesn't breaking out my skin at all so I would highly recommend this cream if you are um, new to skincare if you would like to use something very basic for your skincare routine this one is a really good choice if you're looking for something more than that I think you would be disappointed in this product because really this one cannot do anything else besides hydrating your skin throughout the day so that was the final products of today's video I really hope that this recent skincare review is helpful for you guys especially if you're looking for products that I have reviewed for today's video with that being said I will wrap up today's video right now and if you have any comment for me please comment down below please please read the description box before you ask me any questions because most of the questions you ask me would probably in the description box thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll be seeing you on